It's a super rainy day today, so I thought it would be perfect to just go through the camper and just do some of the last minute things I've been needing to do. This video, I will be revealing the refrigerator. I know you guys have been patiently waiting for that and it's taken a while because there's been so many other projects that we've been needing to do, so it kind of was just on the back burner. But today, we're gonna be doing the refrigerator and I'm also gonna be hanging up some things in the camper and just kind of like finalizing a few of the things that need to get done in here. So I'm super excited about all of this stuff, um, but the refrigerator clips actually start from back in the summer, so let's go time travel back a little bit to see what those clips were. All right, are you guys ready to see what came in the mail? I'm so excited. I cannot wait to open this up, show you guys what it looks like. Hopefully it's everything I thought it would be. <laughs> I'm really scared. Um, so fingers crossed. Let's do a little drum roll. retro feel I am in love with it I tried to get it in a really pretty peachy coral color but it was all sold out so I'm really glad that I found the white because white was my second choice this one was actually really affordable it was 150 but if you guys um, shop at Sam's Club they have it there for 109 I just don't have a membership so by the time I signed up for a membership and all that stuff it didn't really pay it was basically the same price as this one. Um, I got this one from Home Depot. It said it was gonna arrive July 6th, only June 26th. So it came super early, like two days, but it's just so beautiful inside. I cannot wait to put this in the camper. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups now. So we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. So let's focus our attention on this beautiful refrigerator. So I do wanna mention this is an electric only refrigerator. So this will not hook up to propane. Um, we did a lot of research and talking about it. My parents have had campers um, all of my childhood growing up on and off. And just based on our needs, electric was the way to go for us. But um, of course, if you guys don't feel like this is good for you, then don't get it. I think it's a little tricky. I know people have different opinions, but for us, this is what we wanted to get. Now we're back. Um, I think I'm going to start by doing this closet because this obviously is kind of an eyesore right now. Um, we can just see there's lots of brown. I had thought about painting the inside of the closet white, but I don't know. I just don't really think it's that necessary. Um, maybe eventually I will paint it white, but for now we're just going to leave it. So the first thing I did was I actually took this door off, obviously, and I repainted it. But the doors had the same knobs that we do in the kitchen, which are these knobs right here. And I just felt like I wanted something a little bit different for the door. So I went to Hobby Lobby. They had a bunch of these gorgeous door handles. Um, let's see. Here are some... These are the ones that I actually got for the bathroom, which I will be installing once I do the bathroom makeover, which will be coming again. I know that's kind of last, one of the last things I'm like holding off on doing is the bathroom, but just because I know it's going to be a lot of work and I can't quite figure out the design yet, but um, I got one similar for this door. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and we can hang the door up. Here's the door. I have to do some touch-ups on it because it fell outside, but this is the handle I went with, and I think it is just so cute. Um, the, the, I was going to say the cottage. I don't know why. <laughs> the camper has kind of gotten like a shabby chic vibe unintentionally. I just feel like the things I'm picking out have been very shabby chic-esque. So that, I guess, is kind of what the vibe of the camper is now, which I'm not mad about. I think it's very cute. So we're going to hang this door up right here. Um, here's what the closet looks like. I had every intention of taking out a couple of these shelves 
that way we could actually hang our clothes up in here when we travel but i never got to that and i'm not sure if i'm going to do that or not um i can't really decide so i figured i might as well just leave it for now so that way i don't take anything out that i regret later on but um yeah so let's hang up this closet door my birthday is on thanksgiving this year and i asked connor for a drill because i'm always using his and then whenever he needs it for work and for his jobs i never have it like days like today i could really use it so i don't have to do this all um with just a screwdriver but of course he needed it for work i don't know why i just never invested in one because i totally should have but we'll see if he gets me one for my birthday <laughs> So what I'm going to do is just screw all these in, then we can screw it into um, the area. And for this, I think, let's see if we still have them. I think I do. Yes, I do. So this is the system that I used um, in the kitchen, which will keep the closet door locked. Um, and then if I need to open it, I just pull it open and it pulls off. So I'm also going to install these, which might not be able to happen if I, unless I'd have the drill, because I can't really use the same manpower that I would with the drill, but we'll try. It is so weird seeing a door on here because I've just been seeing the shelves for so long. Um, the door needs lots of paint, so I'm probably going to do that. But I'm going to attempt to install the lock system right now um, without a drill. Probably going to be a fail, but we might as well try. So we're going to uninstall this with my Cinderella band-aid that is falling off. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, I think I should be able to get this to work because there's already holes here for this. So I feel like it takes a lot of the work out of the way. Just kidding. This does not go here. This goes on the door, but it's okay. At least I got it screwed in. So I'm a little more hopeful. The door is all set. It took a little bit, but I did get it eventually. Um, the other thing I really need to do is paint this. Um, I had assumed that this piece would just pop out like this was just a face and I could spray it and then just pop it back in, but there is, doesn't seem to be anything that pops out. Like you can hear that that little piece, I don't know if I'm like just missing something like this part is so stuck in here it will not come out and then this piece as you guys can see it's kind of like wiggling oh 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 wait <laughs> i think i'm getting it maybe just oh are you kidding me i have been trying to figure this out for so long i guess the whole time if you guys have one of these in your camper just pull at this one side because it for some reason doesn't pull out at that side but this is like the little furnace area so um i'm going to spray this white that way it matches the rest of the camper wood metal plastic paint and primer and spray this baby If you follow Honey on Instagram, you guys would have seen I cocked all of this in. The next thing I need to do in this area is right here, you can tell it's kind of like yellowed the wood. So I'm just going to go over it with the paintbrush quick to brighten that up. 
All right, are you guys ready to see what the refrigerator looks like in Honey? Drum roll. Da 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 da. How adorable. And the yes, there is a Christmas tree because I'm also kind of in the middle of filming a Christmas um, decorating video for Honey. But I am so excited about how the refrigerator looks. Um, if you get up real close to this area, you can tell all of the trim that we put in definitely needs some paint. So I'm going to paint all the trim and I think I'm actually going to paint this little piece right here too because it looks a little rough and I think that maybe just painting it will help it to look a little bit more cohesive. I like that the top is wood so I want to leave that but I just think that if this band was painted it might help to blend everything in better. So we're going to start painting this refrigerator area. I'm just so happy. I think the refrigerator just fits in this camper so well and just looks so good in here. It's so crazy to see how white this paint is compared to what this trim was. I guess the trim was more of like a white gray. So this is going to be super bright, which I'm totally fine with. I have this wire that just needs to be stuck to the wall. It's actually for the TV. So I have these little pieces, these little like hook things. Um, let me pull one out for you guys. This is what it looks like. And you just nail it directly into the wall. The wire goes in between here um, and it just holds it up. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to nail these into the wall. And then I think I'm just going to paint over the wire white. That way it blends in a lot better. So when you walk into Honey, well, first of all, we have this door, um, and then we have this door, so like a little screen door, um, but to the side, one of the first things that you kind of see is this little side area, so I thought this could be used as like a little welcome sort of an area just to have like easy access to stuff. So I actually found this basket at a thrift store. I think I got it for like 50 cents. I thought it would be perfect to just have right here um that way when we walk in we can like throw our keys in here or if there's certain things we need to like remember if we're at disney we could put like our magic bands in here stuff like that and then the other thing is i have this cute little broom um set and i got this from hobby lobby i believe i got it for like four dollars so i thought that would just fit really perfectly there My extremely talented best friend painted this for me is this not just so beautiful and I just think it's so pretty it reminds me of mama mia reminds me of the song honey honey um, but also it just fits honey so perfectly and the colors I think it's just so fun so I have this little empty area right here so I'm gonna add I think this will go right here and then I have this little shelf which is super cute and I think I'm gonna put that on this wall so let's hang these up and see how they look I think go right oh it's so cute I love this it's so beautiful so here's a shelf that I have. Again, it kind of just feels shabby chic. I got this at a yard sale years ago for $3. I had it in my apartment bathroom. And once we moved into our house, we really didn't have anywhere to put it. But I held on to it just because, like I said, it was $3. So I didn't want to get rid of it. And I think it fits the camper perfectly. So I'm going to hang this right here. Um, and... I think I'll put some cute little trinkets on it. The trinkets that will go on it obviously won't stay there while we drive. Um, so if we drive, I'll just take the things off or use museum putty so that they stay. 
I got this shelf hung up and I'm so excited about it. I didn't have any decorations really in the camper except for these things so they don't all really go together and it's probably not what I would have envisioned for this space but um, I just wanted to throw something on there so you guys could see what it would look like. I'm thinking this shelf area should be designated to just honey pots and maybe like on our travels we could try to find a honey pot each time and hang it up. I also think it'd be really cool if I could do this like all throughout the camper and just have tons of honey pots like a crazy honey pot lady. Um, let me know if you guys think that's a fun idea and museum putty will be your best friend for things like that. Um, the next thing I did was I took the old screens for the sunlights and I just sprayed them white and it helped to change it so much. Here's a peek at this little area that we did today. It looks so much better. I'm so happy that everything finally matches. This door handle is my favorite. I love that. It looks kind of worn in because it just makes it feel a little bit older and adds a little bit more character to it. This sign just makes such a huge difference because it adds a lot more color to the camper and it is just so stunning. I love all the details Brianna put into this painting. I just think it's so, so beautiful. I'm also really happy that I painted over the wires and got those hung up because that definitely helps a lot. Also painting the ceiling helped a lot and this refrigerator just looks so beautiful in this space now. It just looks like it was made for it. I love that it looks vintage so it still matches with the camper's vibe. I think this little welcome area is perfect. I actually do have a couple other things that I want to put on here, but I just haven't been able to find them yet. So if I eventually can find those things, I will definitely put those on. It's so nice to finally be able to film in this direction again because I used to always have to blur out the refrigerator, but I'm so happy that you guys have finally seen it. And it's crazy because it is freezing in the camper. Who remembers that video? I think I was doing the bunk bed and I was sweating so much. I thought I was going to pass out. Like my hair was wrapped up in my shirt and it was so bad that it was so hot. The camper just goes through like such massive um, <laughs> weather changes. So if it's cold outside, it's freezing in here. If it's hot outside, it is boiling in here. But that's just part of the camper life, I guess. I am so excited that Honey is so close to being done. There's definitely still another video I could probably post like this of just doing more like touch-ups of the inside of Honey. So if you're interested in that, then let me know and I will definitely make another video like this. But I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!